guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Cat Tales. In the last episode, we enjoyed some of our very first autumn days by wandering the world and by walking along the beach, which is where we found all of these adorable little scallop shells. I was actually hoping we could give one as a gift to one of the cats today, and maybe Lyris would like it just because um, he seems to enjoy those decorative items. Maybe it'll give him a little bit of inspiration, particularly because it's such a rainy, gloomy day and we know that he loves to stay inside. So let's see if he would maybe enjoy a tiny little shell from the beach. Let's give him the scallop. Ah, you bring a gift? My gratitude is boundless. It is much appreciated, my little Rose. Oh, and we got the adorable little music note above his head again, so I think he did actually enjoy that very, very much. Let's Let's see if he has um, anything new to say today. Some say that the fog is an army of spirits passing through its old home. It does make everything look quite ghostly. Oh, so he's already dreaming up mysterious dreams of his own. That is quite interesting. He uses the rainy days as an excuse to basically sleep in, so I'm sure he's going to be very happy today. Now, Doc, we are on a mission to find as many herbs as we can for you and for ourselves as well. We were actually hoping that maybe he could share some of his uh, secrets with us as we try to hone our foraging skills. It does look like we could upgrade that right now, so why don't we go ahead and do that? Because if we increase our foraging skills, we will um, be able to effectively heal ourselves a little bit more with all of these different herbs. So that'll be quite helpful for us if we can't find as many herbs in the uh, winter time. Coco did tell us, he uh, warned us that some of the different types of plants won't be available for us to pick from when different seasons roll around so I wonder if this might be one of our very last chances to find um, the golden seals and the marigolds. Maybe we should actually talk to Doc too. Maybe he'll be able to enlighten us a little bit. Does he know anything about um, the plants of the area? Pardon me, but I reckon you're one of them cats with a real driving desire that keeps you going. I can see it in your eyes. Is it wealth, maybe fame, or possibly love? I don't know and I couldn't tell you. All I know is, is that you've got your mind set on something and by all accounts, you're gonna make it happen. Well, thank you very much, Doc. I mean, right now we are trying to find you herbs. So that is uh, very, very good to hear. That's a good thing because that means that he is on our side, right? Now let's make sure that we're not wandering into any battles today. We have them all at the top of the map. We probably should poke our heads in just to see what's going on. But for now, let's go um, to the right because I do have a little bit of lavender inside our inventory and I think we want to take back control in the uh, forest central. It does seem like the sort of place that the forest cats should uh, definitely have under their influence. So let's use our lavender and that brings up our bar just a little bit more than the uh, mystic cats. In fact, the mystic cats are only controlling 2% of this territory now, so we have almost successfully pushed them out of this place entirely. Meanwhile, though, the forest east, look at this place. The mystic cats have completely taken over. Maybe we want to investigate that tile as well. That will lead us a little bit closer to the temple too, so I don't think we've actually done too much exploring to the right. It looks like we might have a little bridge over here so um, we could possibly cross right over into the sacred temple. Why don't we uh, stick our noses in there? Why don't we see exactly what's going on in that direction? I wonder too if we're going to run into any enemy cats. Since they do have so much control in this area, I would imagine there is quite the chance that some of our um, enemies might be lurking here too, patrolling to see if any uh, forest cats are sneaking around, which is exactly what Penny is doing. But I do want to catch some food. We don't want to get too lax on that, especially as she she has just received her study prey skill, but it does seem like it's a little bit harder to catch food when it's raining. So um, let's go over here to the woodland Ea, I believe that is. Oh, there's so much over there. So many different herbs, catnips and golden seals, but there is no way that Penny is going to be strong enough to take on that current. I mean, we haven't even upgraded our swimming skill yet because we haven't really had a reason to. For the most part, she has just stayed on dry land trying to find food that way. So I suppose for now, we're going to have to leave all of those herbs on that island. This is the bridge though. This should take us right over to um, the sacred temple, but let me just do a quick sweep of the area to make sure we're not missing anything. Yeah, you know, so far it seems pretty bare over here. I don't see any herbs that we could really pick up. So why don't we cross the bridge and then I'll explore up this way too, just in case. Oh, there was a mouse there. Penny, you are going to have to creep around again. You're going to have to be very, very sneaky because we don't need you scaring away food, especially as you're so hungry. 
We do have a tiny stash of mice sitting inside our den. So if um, worst came to worst, then we could definitely break into that too. But it's very important that Penny works on this um, pile of food so that she'll be able to eat something when it gets even colder, when it starts to snow and everything. I just have a feeling that it's going to be very hard for us to find food in that time, just like it would be for any animal. But um, I guess we are going to have to at least eat one of our doves because she is getting super, super hungry. And then we'll maneuver our way around all of these cliff sides so we can see, um, oh my goodness. Oh gosh, there are cats out here. Okay, let's see if we can take on two cats, Casey and Dusk. Can we possibly get rid of them? I mean, we are a little bit outnumbered here, but if we can get rid of them, then we will get a, quite a bit of experience points for it. We do have some herbs in our inventory, so we might be able to do this. Let's sneak around Dusk and then try to eat one really, really quickly. We'll use one of our golden seals and run away for a moment so we can heal up. And then turn and attack again. Swipe at him as fast as we possibly can. He actually went behind me that time. He had a little bit of strategy going there, but I think we can still take Dusk down. Let's uh, snatch up another one of our golden seals just in case before we go charging back in because Penny is getting um, a little bit hurt here. She's is definitely getting a little bit hurt, but a few more hits. There we go. Ought to do it. Excellent. So um, she is definitely going to need to sleep off her wounds or maybe even pay another visit to Doc. But for now, why don't we uh, try to see what is in the uh, sacred temple here? Because I mean, clearly if those cats were guarding it, it must be something special, right? Let's sneak over this way. The sacred temple. Oh, there's a lock over here though. I guess that means that um, we can't increase our influence here, but this place looks so cool. It's like um, a broken down temple of some sort. So somebody used to live here, but it doesn't seem like they do anymore. We have these gorgeous lights up here too. Oh, this place is so cool. It doesn't really look like there's anything for us to um, pick up in the area though, unless I'm missing something, unless there's a somewhere else for us to go. So it might be something that we're meant to um, explore a little bit later on in the game. For now, I think it is time for Penny to make her way back home after she has uh, sniffed around this very, very mysterious place. I think she's ready to hightail it back to her den and uh, sleep off all of those wounds. Oh, look at that. Two lavenders right next to each other. Excellent. So we found a tiny little lavender patch right by the um, sacred temple as well. That's good. We'll have to keep in mind that that is there just in case um, we need it to spread our influence even more as the cats get uh, closer to our territory. Oh, it stopped raining though. That's nice. So tomorrow is probably going to be a nice sunny a fall day, which is always a much more helpful for us as we're trying to find all of this food. We need a good sunny day to go hunting with um, Scout. We'll see if Scout can find anything off by his usual place right to the left of the territory. We still haven't been able to show off our new skill to him. Oh my goodness. And here is the giant fight. Okay. I don't think we want to um, have anything to do with this. We are just going to run Run away, maybe pick up some blackberries because we could probably use those. But for the most part, we are just going to hightail it out of here. We don't need anything to do with that big fight. We're hungry, we're practically starving, our wounds still haven't healed. But luckily, we are right next to our den, too, so not too much further for us to travel. We'll go ahead and eat up these tasty blackberries since um, we do know that Missy is not going to be seeing them from us anytime soon. We have a little bit of a grudge against Missy because after giving her those lovely, lovely blackberries, she decided to insult us to our face. So Missy might not be seeing any gifts from us anytime soon, but um, we do still have some catnip sitting in our inventory. So maybe we could see if um, either Doc or Ember would like that. Why don't we try Doc actually? Since we are trying to get some tips and tricks out of him for um, the foraging skill, maybe he would be a little bit more likely to talk to us if we gave him some catnip first. We'll have to see if that's the case. I'm sure he's awake now. We actually slept pretty late because we came in so late too. Doc has been getting the uh, special treatment lately, but it's all for a good cause, right? Penny needs to um, learn how to properly take care of herself before the harsher seasons roll around. Hey there, how you doing today? Let's give him the catnip. Oh yes, of course he likes that too. What a swell gift, Penny. You're a real partner. Excellent. So we're getting on his good side, I guess. And there's another one of those damselflies. Oh no, I missed it. Oh no, right outside of our territory. I'm actually keeping my eye open for the um, red ones. We saw a tiny little red damselfly go flying past us 
was, and we weren't able to grab it in time, but I have a feeling it's probably a bit of a rarer one, just like our green fireflies. Now we're a little bit too short to um, gather up another foraging skill, so why don't we head off this way and see if we can find Scout to uh, go hunting with him. There he is. Hello, Scout. Have you found any uh, good little morsels out here today? Huh? Did you need something? Boy, what a good day it is. Ain't many days like today that come around. <laughs> oh, so he's enjoying himself very, very much, as am I, because it's not um, raining anymore, so it's much, much nicer to uh, wander around here. Let's see if we can find something to uh, show off our skills to scout with, though. Any other little mice down here? Just a ton of damselflies. I don't see any. There's one. There's one of those squirrels. So let's use our study prey ability so we can see exactly how close we can get. If we get a little bit closer and pounce. <laughs> oh no, why is it always when Scout is watching that we're so bad at this? It must be the pressure. It must be the pressure on poor little Penny. She doesn't want to disappoint him. Well, let's try this mouse without the skill. There we go, just close enough to pounce on that guy and we know that he loves his mice. So he must have been very impressed by that moment. Unless he's actually gone, he may have gone back into um, the colony for the day. Oh, maybe that's why it was so much easier for Penny to catch all of this food. I mean, really. Every single time we try to impress Scout, we end up failing completely until he leaves. But we have Squire here. Did we impress you, Squire? Hang on a second. Are you out on patrol today, Penny? Well, kind of. We're uh, looking for food, trying to impress all the kitties in our colony. But um, I suppose you could call that patrolling. There you are, Scout still out to uh, watch the sunset with us. So we'll go ahead and hold this little mouse. This was um, something that he favored a little bit more than the birds that we gave him before because we get that nice big star on top of his head. Oh wow, I've always loved these. Thanks a billion, Penny. I wonder if he would prefer like different types of mice? Since we've always been giving him these uh, normal mice, these normal ones that we find just outside of our territory, maybe we should try to give him like a harvest mouse someday if we can find one. We should definitely keep that in mind because um, I'm sure he would enjoy a little bit of a change, right? We should have enough skill points by now to um, hopefully upgrade our foraging again, right? Yeah, there we go, definitely. So we're going to be level four in foraging. Pretty soon skills to rival even those of docks. So yes, we will upgrade. And then why don't we use our uh, newfound abilities to continue trying to spread our influence all across the land using, of course, our uh, lovely lavender plants that we found. So it looks like we have a little bit of territory chipped away at the very top right next to this other battle. So that might be a good place for us to start. And then we can also maybe poke our heads in there too, since we do have um, a little bit more stashed away now. Let's go ahead and uh, eat one of our crows as well, since it almost fills our entire belly. Yeah, the Canyon Mesas. This is where we're losing some territory to um, the Mystic Cats again. Despite the fact that they're way down here, they have a very, very long reach. They even have a little bit of uh, the canyon above us too. That's interesting. Maybe we want to even spread a little little bit of this uh, lavender around that area as well. But for now, this seems like the best place for Penny to start. So let's go ahead and use this lavender. And then I wonder if one more will be enough, yeah, to uh, completely take over this entire area. So no more mystic cats on this tile. Penny has claimed it as her own using all of that lovely lavender. And if we take one of our golden seals too, since we have so many of these now, and since uh, we should be able to heal ourselves quite efficiently with our newfound skills, thanks to Doc, of course. Thanks Thanks to um, Doc's guidance. Maybe we can actually take care of a few more of these cats. We have tons of our cats down here. Oh my goodness. They're all fighting in the water. That is a terrible, terrible idea. You guys are going to get washed away. We took care of Bailey. Now Billy is in there with Smokey. Like, I would like to help you, but I am not strong enough to go swimming. Oh my gosh. Now all of the Mews are in the water too. I mean, we are going to have to stick our little paws in there and try to get them. We can't leave that big stack of Mews behind. So heal up, Penny. Heal up because you are about to go swimming. She has gone swimming before down on by the beach because we found some rivers where the catnip is, but she's never tried like a really, really tough river like this before. So let's unstick our paws in and try our best if we can. There we go to grab the muse. Well, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be since we had the um, little bridge blocking our path. So thankfully we couldn't get swept all the way down the river. That being said though, it might might actually be a good idea for you to invest a little bit of time in learning how to swim. I wonder which of the cats would uh, know how to swim the best. 
We have Scout, who of course is our master hunter of um, the entire place. And oh my gosh, oh, there's one of those like harvest mice down here, but there's also a ton of mountain cats coming to get their revenge. Let's see if we can take out Flicker before his friends come up behind him. We did get him, but I think it's time to go. There are way too many cats for Penny to take on herself. I so wish that we could have gotten that um, little harvest mouse for Scout though. Oh, I'm so disappointed. At least we know that they're still around in the fall time though. That's a good thing. So we could possibly bring one back to him later if we can find another. But if Scout is the hunter and Doc is the healer, then I wonder who would be the uh, best cat to go to for swimming advice. We'll have to uh, try to figure that out. Maybe even Lyris. I wonder if Lyris spends a lot of time by the water thanks to um, his blue coat. Maybe he's particularly good at fishing because of that. So if we bring him some more shells in the future from the beach, maybe we could even uh, sneak in some swimming lessons from him too. Technically, we could unlock this right now. I mean, we might as well. It's the only one of these uh, skills that we haven't gotten the first level in. So use to float atop bodies of water. At higher levels, a cat will take less damage from sustained exposure to water and paddle faster, allowing them to fight even the swiftest of currents. Yeah, so this is uh, definitely what we need to battle those raging, raging rivers. It makes sense too that Penny would gain a little bit more uh, swimming experience in general today after battling the river currents for the very first time all for a stack of mews. But now we're about halfway through the autumn season, so it might be time for us to really buckle down and get some more food in our stores. And of course, find that harvest mouse to give to Scout. I really hope we can find another. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys!